This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Carly Barnett. A Miami-Dade commissioner says she will propose a civilian oversight board to investigate complaints people have with any county department, including police. Commissioner Barbara Jordan says she's been listening to concerns from the protesters. The panel hasn't been around for a decade now, but the commissioner would like to eventually see voters add it to the county's charter so that it can never go away. She'll propose that next week. And with the curfew officially lifted in Miami-Dade, Mayor Carlos Jimenez is planning to open beaches tomorrow. Originally the beaches were set to open June 1st, but that was postponed because of the protests. Under new guidelines, beachgoers will be allowed to sit and sunbathe, but if protests get out of control, Mayor Jimenez says they could reinstate the curfew. We haven't been shy about the decisions that we've taken. I'm not going to, we are not going to allow things to get out of control. And the last thing I want to do is close the beaches again. People can also bring umbrellas and coolers just as long as they practice social distancing. And the FBI wants your help solving a crime caught on camera. They're offering a $25,000 reward to find the person who they say torched a City of Miami police car during the protests. It happened on May 30th in downtown Miami. They released these photos of the suspect who has tattoos on his right arm with what looks like a star tattoo on the elbow. And we're about a week now into hurricane season. It's getting ready for it is quite different this year. The acting secretary of Homeland Security toured the National Hurricane Center in West Miami-Dade. He was joined by Governor DeSantis and Mayor Jimenez, who says evacuations will look very different if they are needed. We're doubling our space from uh, to about 40 square feet per person, uh, up from 20 square feet per person uh, due to the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. Officials say $80 million of federal money is available to help with disasters like a hurricane or the pandemic. They also have a reserve of 10 million masks for the shelters with plans to get 14 million more. Now, CBS4 weather. Hi there, South Florida. We are starting off with a beautiful sky cover, taking a live view out of Fort Lauderdale. Nice uh, sky, we see some blue, but we are still getting a bit of a clouds blanketing the area. However, it's not completely covered, so definitely more sunshine today. That's gonna warm up temperatures into the lower 90s, but feels like temperatures in the triple digits. Now the breeze is turning more easterly. Thou said in a chance for a shower thunderstorm along the sea breeze in the inland areas. That's the news for now, and you can always find us on CBSMiami.com. Tune into CBS4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all of today's important headlines.